We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. 
Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmela destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mela is money, and you'll always be trash. It's Red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go di bye. I'm not going anywhere, because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it, so it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Red's cashing in. We're going to have a Raw Women's Championship match right now. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. After what happened last night with Carmella destroying Red's briefcase, I certainly did not expect this. You gotta hand it to Red. Most people would have accepted defeat and moved on, but not her. No, oh, Carmella was absolutely blindsided. She thought she'd eliminated this threat to her title, but clearly she was wrong. Credit to Red for being one step ahead of the Staten Island Princess. Now, let's see if she can win the match. Otherwise, this is all just one big waste of time. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Picture perfect drop kick. Tornado, tornado oh. DDT! Talk about devastation. If you remember, guys, Carmella's introduction to the main roster came in 2016 when she was the final pick in the WWE brand extension draft. Dominating crossbody. Here she goes, back in the ring now. Byron noted how Carmella was the final pick in the 2016 draft. I think in a lot of ways, seeing more than 50 superstars get selected before her gave Carmella a definitely motivated her, Cole. And fast forward less than two years later, and Carmella became SmackDown Women's Champion. Talk about a meteoric rise. Kick to the gut. Boom! DDT! Narrowly avoiding trouble. Yeah, that could have been bad. Ah, oh, look at this. Women's title up for grabs. Big boot. Ah, oh, front thrust kick. Was unreal. Tornado. Oh. 
She ducks out of the way there. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow! What an incredible moonsault. She's looking relentless now. Dictating the pace of the match now. She's calling for it. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Go to sleep. We could have a new champion. There's almost no rebounding from a strike like that. Wow, Carmella somehow digs deep and finds a way to keep fighting. She's a beast. And it's Carmella answering back. Oh, leg sweep. Nicely done. For the win to retain the championship. Two. Oh, that was close. So close. Oh, thank goodness. Wow, she turned that one around. This is a big risk. Oh, look out! Diving knee drop! Uh-oh. Beautiful suplex. Hold your breath. That is just crazy athleticism. She's toying with her now. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Oh. Go to sleep, GTS. Night, night. And into the count. Two. Three. Red has successfully cashed in her replacement money in the bank briefcase to become the new Raw Women's Champion. What an amazing 24 hours this has been for Red. I hate to say it, but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey, who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the Money in the Bank contract. This is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the list she shares with Trey. It's become increasingly apparent that it's not just a piece of paper. It's the driving force behind Red's meteoric rise to the top. And so it is with great honor that I induct the package deal, Red and Trey, into the WWE Hall of Fame. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow. Thank oh, you. This is incredible. All right. <laughs> All right, thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight, being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine, where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault, 
I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of parallels between our personalities, which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? I am definitely auditioning. It's one of my OG list items. Star in a WWE action movie. I think I'm gonna pass. Are you kidding? Do I need to remind you that the rank and file films are cinematic masterpieces? No. You mention that every year on that weird holiday you invented where you binge all of them from start to finish. You mean Thanksgiving Day? It's the most heart-pounding, action-packed, explosive day of the year. And it's gonna catch on. You'll see. I wouldn't get your hopes up, all you wannabe movie stars. Because I already have the lead role of Bryce Decker locked in for the fourth consecutive film. I mean, do you really think the rank-and-file franchise could continue without the most accomplished WWE superstar slash actor in history? The answer is no, people. But please, feel free to audition for a bit part or an extra role. I'll be sure to put in a good word for you with the director. Gotta run. Getting my eyes bleached for the big shoot coming up. Really gonna make these baby blues pop on screen. Break a leg. Sorry, this isn't my thing, but I know how excited you were. Hmm. Honestly, the franchise is probably better off in the hands of a seasoned artist like The Miz. You were right. It was a stupid dream. <sighs> you know what? I changed my mind. Let's audition together. It'll be fun. Really? Yeah. Let's give it our best shot, and maybe we can get supporting roles, or background would be fine too, even deep background where we're out of focus and no one can see me. Oh, that would still be cool. And just imagine all the kids' faces when they see us in the movie next year on Thanksgiving Day. They'll light up with explosions and excitement. I'm still not sure that's catching on like you think it is. We have a few minutes to fill, so can we finally talk about Brooklyn Von Braun's latest movie release? Uh, sure. I guess. Uh, I'll let you go first. What'd, what'd you think? You didn't watch it, did you? No, I, I totally did. Uh, Brooklyn, she was great. She really knew her <laughs> lines, and her hair was really nice, and she, <laughs> she, uh, she handled the props really well. Seriously? Okay, fine. I blew it off, but I just figured you'd fill me in. Well, this segment's off to a great start. <sighs> Where was I? Brooklyn plays an MMA fighter. Big stretch. Ooh. Are you going to snark? Or are you going to let the person who actually watched the movie do the segment? Sorry. Continue. Well, when her MMA career is derailed due to injury, a chance encounter leads her to the world of competitive tap dancing. Hence the title, Tapping Out. Hmm. Sounds like I made the right call not watching it. It was actually entertaining. And hey, as long as it's not getting in the way of her training, then she should do whatever she wants. Besides, you have to give her credit for trying new things, which is something you could attempt every once in a while. I just tried this new movie review segment. Not a fan. 
I'm going to start my own podcast, Women Who Respect Their Co-Hosts. Aw, that's a bit wordy. Anyway, speaking of new things, we have a brand new sponsor who can help you become the next WWE superstar. Are you sick of going through life unrecognized and unappreciated? Well, what if I told you in just a few months I could make you famous around the world? Because that's what I did for WWE superstars Red and Trey. With my help and a sizable but fair tuition, they went from losers to bruisers. So if you want to get on the fast track to WWE success, there's only one place to do it, Riley Flash's Wrestling Academy. Fame and fortune is only one call away. So give me a ring and I'll see you in the ring. Red and Trey did not authorize this message and WWE success is highly unlikely.